Hi guys, welcome to another vlog of mine and today we are doing a part two of my Amazon haul from last week. They always seem to do well, those types of videos, and my best friend noticed that there aren't many UK Amazon hauls on YouTube. They're usually American or Australian, so I thought I would do another one. We're going to get straight into the video and we're going to start with these luxury silk PJs and dressing gown. They're not silk, but they feel very luxurious. They feel like the real thing and they are so cozy. They feel so soft. It's great if you are having a sleepover like a hen do or something and you all want to be wearing really fancy matching PJs. And then the dressing gown is great for summer when it is a bit hot outside and you don't want a big woolly dressing gown. So I really love those. I wear them a lot, but the only thing is I can't sleep in silk because I slide down the bed and it does my head in. But some people can sleep in silk and they love silk bed sheets, but that's just me. I can't do that. While we're on the subject of cosy clothes, they do some luxury wool slippers. These are so comfy, an amazing price. Really think that they are a bargain. My slippers are constantly wearing out because I wear them all the time around my house. I can't bear to walk on cold floor in the kitchen or Bear's always dripping his water, the dog. And I'm always walking in his water after, after he's had a drink. So I have to have something on my feet at all times. These do the trick. They are so soft and they seem way more expensive than they really are. On the subject of clothing still, I want to talk about some Gatsby accessories. So if you have a 1920s party coming up, a Gatsby themed party, these are perfect and they are so affordable on Amazon. Um, there's loads of different colours, different colour gloves, different pearls, different feather headbands. I had my 30th in December and I will insert a picture of what I looked like and I was just really happy that I could easily get them on Amazon when I'd forgotten about them with a few days to go and I just quickly ordered them, they were here the next day, so recommend those. I also want to talk about a Gatsby background which is gold tassels. I used this for a balloon arch that my mum and sister made me, we put it just behind the balloon arch so it looked like a backdrop to have pictures in front of and it looked so glam and I cannot believe how cheap it was to make a background like that that looks so effective. So I would definitely recommend those, you just stick them up wherever you fancy. Okay, we're getting into the nitty gritty now. We need kitchen stuff because I could buy stuff all day on Amazon when it comes to the kitchen. I absolutely love the little hacks when it comes to containers, lazy Susans, things to just make it easier for you to cook and clean and use it as storage. My number one favourite thing in my kitchen when it comes to little containers and things is this two tier rack um, for spices. So in my last video, I spoke about how I labelled my spice jars and this is what I actually put them on. It looks so uniform and I'm really happy with the result. The next thing I want to talk about is the wine holders that I bought. I thought I bought two of these to hold my water bottles. So Joe and I have quite a few water bottles for the gym. You can obviously use this for wine. I just put them on the side and I put them in a big long cupboard that I have in the kitchen. Um, right at the back so I can just easily reach for water bottles. They have little compartments and it just keeps it all the water bottles looking nice and uniform rather than stood up and constantly being knocked over when you're trying to reach for something in the cupboard so they're on the side so I really like that. Another little cute thing I like is fridge canisters. I like to put these in my fridge for my cans. Just another way to tidy up your fridge a little bit and um, keep it all looking uniform which is what it is about with me. I love the organisation of the kitchen. My hair is looking so greasy. I've just had it all chopped off, but it definitely needs styling when you have it this short. Look at the state of it. But I am trying to keep heat off it, so I'm trying not to straighten it every day because it's breaking off. A kitchen scale, this digital kitchen scale is amazing. We use it for everything. When we are calorie tracking, we weigh out how many grams we need of each thing. And um, this was really easy to buy on Amazon, very cheap and very reliable. I love these. I've got these little egg plate cups, which I think it's such a good invention, so simple. When you are boiling an egg, you cut the top off and then all of the yolk tends to go everywhere, dripping all down the side of your egg and it's on the plate and it's wasted. But you can keep it compact in this little egg plate cup. It catches all of the yolk so you can dip it in properly as if it was still in the egg. <laughs> simple things make me happy. I have this utensil and I don't know what it's called. Amazon will tell me, I will insert a picture. Um, but it is for when you put a big block of square, you know, mints in the pan, beef mints or pork mints, and it doesn't break up with your usual spatula. So I have this cross sort of utensil. 
you do this and you break it up just easily very very easily with this thing it's amazing it's so effective it breaks up instantly and i got that one from jacqueline hill because she is the queen of utensils <laughs> Also from Jacqueline's recommendations, I got this garlic press, which is really sturdy. The best one I've ever used. I always have a garlic press on hand because I don't want the smell of garlic on my fingers. And this is extremely durable and it gets the job done instantly. So I like that. I also got this set of tongs. They are brilliant. I actually gave one to my nana because I only needed one, but um, brilliant for picking up anything in the pan, your pasta, flipping anything. It's just easier than having a usual spatula because you've got both sides to flip it with so not much I can say about those. This is a really tiny cheap thing but I just wanted to put it in there because I always have a key bottle opener. I know you can get them out of crackers and whatever but they never work so I just went and bought one of these that actually looks like a key but it is a bottle opener which is always handy to have on hand. You never know when you need to open a bottle of beer. I'm always saving the day with that one. I'm not sure if I say the word knife whether it will be allowed on youtube but hopefully youtube realizes the context this mercer knife oh my god get rid of all of your knives and replace it with six of these because that is what i did this is the best knife in the world no effort required does the job sharpest knives out there and just works for everything i don't need any larger knives at all apart from a bread knife another thing you might not have thought of for the kitchen is if you want soft closed cupboards and you don't have them if they're making a massive bang when you when you shut in each cupboard and it does your head in, then buy these soft close little um, lump, bump stickers. What would you call them? Like little nipples. <laughs> you just sit in one of your cupboards and you don't have that noise anymore. Very slick, very handy. Oh, I absolutely love these. I don't think I've spoken about these before. Um, Joe bought some plant domes, which you stick into your plant and it slowly releases the water into the pot if you are like us and you forget to water them it's brilliant because it can last days or weeks depending on how far you push the dome into the soil um, and what angle you put it at we always have these they sit in all our plants in the house and it saves us having to water them daily or weekly oh i absolutely love this bum vase i love the look of this and um, you see them everywhere at the moment and it's just so cool that you can get it on Amazon. You don't have to go to any home stores. It's all there waiting for you. Um, you can get all sorts of shapes, but I do like this um, white bum vase. I just finished it off with some pampas and I love the look of it. Definitely want to talk about these things. This is a mini perfume bottle. You can just refill any of your perfume into here and it's just great for on the go. I love these so much that I have them in every handbag, every clutch that I have. Because when you go away on holiday, you don't have to take a big chunky glass bottle that might smash. You just take one of these and you fill it from the bottom here. So you just take the lid off your perfume and squirt from the bottom so there's no mess. Just extremely handy. And it also makes me wear perfume more because I might finish a meal when I'm out and just root in my handbag because I always do that. Does anybody else just root in the handbag just for the sake of it, just to see what's in there? And um, I'll, it'll remind me that I've got perfume in there, so I'll uh, fill the table with a nice scent. <laughs> and then the last item on my list is this purse. I just needed a cheap purse to keep in one of my bags. Didn't want to spend a fortune on one, so I found this one. And it looks quite high-end, I think, with the cute little feather on the end. It has all the compartments that you need, and I just think it's great that you can, again, go on Amazon and find something as cheap as that when you just need it to have one purpose and do its job. So I hope you enjoyed this part two of the Amazon haul. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you can see more of these videos pop up on your timeline. And I will see you in the next vlog next Friday.